Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. Welcome you all here. It's very loud, isn't it? Can you turn them down? You can, you yeah, have you the volume just, on it. It's very loud. That might be, be that's better, I think. And I'll ask for apologies, please. Philip and John. <laughs> Somebody move that the apologies be accepted, please. A seconder. Thank you. Just before we move on to uh, conflicts of interest, in the correspondence you'll note there's a letter from the Kaipoi District Historical Society. There's actually another one that came today. So I've included that in uh, today's correspondence as well. Moving on, item number two, conflicts of interest. No conflicts. Item number three, confirmation of the September minutes. Somebody move that these be... Um, thank you, seconder. Brent, thank you, Brent. That was 3.1. Or do 3.2. Did everyone get the 3.2? And the minutes of the extraordinary meeting on 30th September. Somebody move that they are correct to counter that. Meeting, please. Brent, second up. Al, thank you, Al. All those in favour? Those against? Carried. Any matters arising from the normal Tuahiwi Community, Kaipui Tuahiwi Community Board meeting? No matters arising? Any matters arising? from the extraordinary meeting. No matters arising. Item number four, there are no deputations or presentations. Item number five, no adjourned business. Item number six, reports, update to the community board standing orders. <coughs> Thank you, Tia. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, this is just an update to align our um, board's standing orders with that of the, that was approved in the council earlier in October. The main um, uh, changes being made is to the audiovisual um, part of the meetings. This allows members to attend via audiovisual link. And also it gives the mayor and the executive, chief executives as well as the chairperson of the board, um, the right to call an emergency meeting. That's basically the only amendments that that we have. I'm happy to take any questions that members might have. Um, there was a question raised by Philip via email about the composition of the Code of Conduct Committee. And if the boards are going to use the same Code of Conduct Committee than that of the council, it was discussed at previous boards and at the mayor and the chairperson's meeting, and it was agreed that that will be determined on a case-to-case -case basis once there is actually um, a need to actually convene the Code of Conduct Committee. The board will, via report, make the recommendation of who will actually serve on that Code of Conduct Committee, and um, then a decision will be made. Thank you, ma'am. A and B. Well, the, the <laughs> and a second to please. Oh, thank you. All those in favour? No. Those against, carried. 6.2 applications for discretionary grant. And we have the Kaipu Borough School uh, looking for $500, I think it was. Yes towards hosting their annual back-to-back, back-to-school family picnic, and also the Kaiapoi Branch North Canterbury Pony Club. I'd like to move both of those. I think they're both very uh, rewarding. Second up. Projects. Brent, thank you. Would you like to speak to that, Jackie? No, just that they're, um, I think it's great if we can support the Borough School in that way with a family picnic and uh, give those parents a really good time. Um, the school obviously can't afford to put on 
such things, and the Pony Club do a jolly good job, so I'd like to support management. Thank you. Would you like to speak to that, Brent? I agree with Jackie. Uh, Kaipui Borough have been doing a great job for their community and all support for their their back to school family picnic and the same for the, the North Canterbury Pony Club. Again, doing a lot of voluntary work, so well done. We'd like to support that. Thank you. have a um, we often have this debate around the table about providing uh, money for schools and while I agree in principle we shouldn't be um, giving money to schools for what the uh, Ministry of Ed should be providing I do think the Kaipa Borough School uh, the back to school family picnic is a totally different matter and we need to support them PTAs have a lot of trouble nowadays just getting people on the PTA, the same old um, volunteer committees are very, very hard to get members for, so this is a really good cause. Al, what would you like to say? Can I just, just say, uh, it was, uh, the club, when I was a boy, we didn't need enclosed areas to learn to ride <laughs> And, and may I say, when I went... To right up the middle of the <laughs> and you only got thruppence, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and may I say, when we used to have our little hind school uh, school picnics, we didn't have bouncy castles and <laughs> face painting and um, everything there. But that's OK. Thank you, everybody. 6.3, adoption of the meeting schedule. Somebody move that... We receive A and B. I'll move. I'll second to please. I'll second. All those in favour? Aye. Those against? Carried. Item number seven, correspondence. You've all read the letter from the from Jean Jean Turby regarding the misspelling of Wooten, which actually on the board spells Wooken. And I did take a photo today and sent it all to you. Um, and there's also another letter with, which I've distributed this afternoon, which came um, and there wasn't time for it to go into the into the agenda. And that is from also from the Kaipoi District Historical Society, asking if it's possible to get a name on the Risley Reserve. So can we have, sorry, you're moving that we accept no, that? No, no, I want to ask a question. Okay. Just a question if I can. Are we still naming reserves by uh, signage or are we doing it by street signage? Which, so we, we do have a reserve. It's not actually the naming, because these things are already named, it's actually the signage. So these are general maintenance, um, this request via letter or correspondence, is this a, a maintenance issue or is it something we need to get a report on to get done? Uh, Chris, I noticed the sign down there I'd already sent through a photo through the community board in relation to the use of cedar and already you can see that the letters are becoming difficult to read because cedar is so soft and it's being damaged already. 
Uh, are you looking to try and repair it or to replace it or do whatever to the sign down there? Um, a, and this is an item 8, my report, and could I have a second, please? Never, no one's interested in seconding no, tonight. Interested in All those in favour? <laughs> All those in favour? Those against, carried. And if you've got any questions, please ask now. Item number 9. Recommendation, Kaipo Tuahiwi Community Board receives the information in 9.1 to 9.15. You will have already received those. Somebody move that, please. Oh, Jackie, second down. Al. It gets, because it's an in-committee report, it gets posted to the board members. Have you? We don't. I, don't, I haven't had anything posted. No. Can I actually then, can we just um, take that one out and then I will make sure that... And you follow up with that. And I will follow up on that. Thank you. So 9.1 to 9.14 is the recommendation. You happy to move that again, Neville? And I'll second of that. All those in favour? Those against, carried. Members exchange. Sorry. Councillor hasn't seen that report either. The District Road and Drainage Maintenance Tender Evaluation and Contract Award Report. You must have, because uh, the value means that it has to go to Council for. That's actually the approval of the <coughs> contract, the road and contract approval. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. It went to you on the 1st of September, a long time ago. Okay, members exchange, information exchange. I do have um, Phillips here. Did he send it to everybody? Yes, I did send it to everybody. Okay. Jackie. Um, I'm going to wait for some time over the last month. So no, I, all I can say is I attended the sustainability um, meeting, the first meeting, um, and it looks really good, except there is no money. Um, but the whole purpose of this um, group is to encourage sustainability in the council. Um, 
you know, everyone in this, on the staff, and I had to laugh when I received this. I thought, oh my God, sustainability. Yeah. I don't know who put this together, and I don't want to you know, embarrass anyone, but, uh, oh, it's the <laughs> yeah, that's 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 Thank you. Uh, there's a wee bit in the environmental space. Um, PC7 hearings have started. Um, they're at Wigram uh, and they go over five weeks every other week. Uh, and the council um, appears on November the 16th and I appear there too. Um, the legal advice that um, ECAN's council has got for um, the NPS Freshwater and the NES is that PC7 has to give effect to the freshwater package. So that actually means um, quite significant alteration to PC7 itself, which will mean massive changes within this district. Um, the Water Zone Committee uh, ticked off um, $10,006 in the IMS, that's the Immediate Steps Fund, for Motu Kanuka, which is a 13 hectare patch of Kanuka at Airwell, which they're going to, uh, a dock has bought it, and um, the Immediate Steps Fund will go to weed and pest control. This is really significant. This is the last decent hunk of Kanuka, which is, you know, remnant dry land of what we used to be before we got irrigation. Uh, and they're trying to um, keep irrigation away from it. It's in the middle of a um, dairy farm. And luckily, uh, the person who owned it uh, prior to selling it um, uh, fenced it off and kept it relatively intact apart from a, um, a bulldozer track through the middle, which will eventually regenerate. Um, land and water. I've gone, you've turned me off, haven't you? <laughs> I'm only just getting my stride. Um, Land and Water considered um, a big report on the Kaiapu River, uh, which um, I suggest you have a look at. None of it's particularly good news. Um, but what we did ask, one of the recommendations, was to ask ECAN to put all its fancy gear on the, um, which I think you'd in indicated here before, uh, was to put all their stuff on the um, uh, on the Mandeville Bridge to get continuous monitoring for the next uh, couple of years. Um, still waiting. We still get complaints about the cam from Mr. Bate, um, the weed dying or not not there in the cam, and um, uh, staff have gone out with them to identify where there is weed not growing. Um, as far as our work on the CAM in stream, we're still waiting on the Waimakariri Minor Works and Maintenance Consent from Environment Canterbury. It's only been 18 months or even two years. Um, 
I, one of the interesting things that's it's come out of the um, uh, MPS is that um, all natural wetlands in the district have to be protected and there is to be no drainage within 100 metres of them. Uh, that has quite a bit of effect really um, and you may look up Lineside Road where there are probably natural wetlands that have been farmed and uh, um, are, are not to uh, have any drainage around them. Um, what else have we got? Um, I helped keep Rangiora beautiful, plant 76 trees around Pond C on Flaxton Road. Um, they're a good bunch, they're all about 9,000 years old and um, they were there. Greg's were... not that old. No, that's right. He isn't. No. So, um, uh, yes, so there's now when you go past, just, just look to your left as you're heading up. Um, towards Rangiora and you'll see these trees. They're quite decent size, you know, sort of one and a half uh, to two metres. Uh, and I think that's probably probably it at the moment. There might be something exciting next time. Thank you. Thank Any you questions? Can I ask a question? Mm, go for Stephen, it. Can you explain The main thing I'll be working on this month has been part of the walking and cycling reference group. Um, spent many hours inspecting potential routes and talking to council staff and um, writing writing that up. Um, the group's been a guinea pig for a new consultation package called Bang the Table, which I think must come from Australia because it's actually quite user friendly. It's not as aggressive as it sounds. Um, however, I think it's pretty clear from the work we've done so far that a lot of our aspirations about you know, connectivity are going to take a long time and they're going to require things like the Woodend Bypass and a lot of the new developments to have those cycling and walking group links in them before we're actually going to achieve what we want to achieve. So it is very much a long-term plan, uh, but at least we've made a decent start on it. Thanks, Madam Chair. Na mihi, Madam Chair. I've already sent through my member exchange report, but I'll just add to it um, in that... I caught up with some of the building industry uh, businesses here in Kaiapoi over the weekend and the likes of Kaiapoi Aluminium is reporting that, okay, they've already closed off all for orders about a month ago, but they are just absolutely flat stick. So the building industry within the district is looking extremely positive. However, on the other side of it, we know a number of workers within the Hellers, uh, which are really, really they've on reduced hours at the moment. So let's hope that everybody gets out and buys some Heller's meat at the moment because, yeah, the workers are doing it tough. But thank you. Nā mihi. Thank you. Um, so we'll let that go. Um, the mixed business unit, um, the subcommittee has, has met and assessed five prospective um, um, invite, uh, five, five prospective projects and whittled it down to a short list of two. That's still um, un under wraps with, um, with um, um, secrecy, but um, that by, by next month, um, I think we'll have a report coming to the, to the thing on, on, on the chosen one of the two. Well, possibly anyway, but at least we're down to two. Pontoons, you'll have seen our first fully full-fledged paying guest has arrived. And I've got to talk to um, Grant about whether he's in the right place on the pontoon because he doesn't know if he is, and he wants to know how he can start paying his rent. And I said, I'll, I'll send him over, like, <laughs> <laughs> on his way home from tonight's meeting. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the car park underway, you, there's no need to talk about that. You've all walked past it and seen it. That's all happening. Um, Ian Hislop was talking to this morning with the um, ECAN works at the Macintosh's Hole. He's just a bit, he was trying to get a committee to, uh, meeting together of councillors. Did he contact you guys? He, they, they, they can't do it anyway. We haven't, we can't between us get a time that suits everybody. So he's abandoned that, um, that meeting. It was really only a um, consultation thing. But we, we, he talked about um, what we need to do. And I said, the biggest thing is informing the fishermen. Um, and we've decided, amongst other things, he's decided um, they'll put up signage when they start, which is the first week in December. And also, the fish and game are going to, um, with ECAN, are going to print pamphlets out explaining the whole timetable for six months. And um, I said, well, I'm sure some of us can, would, if they give them to us, we'll distribute them the odd time down there, as well as fish and game. And he thought that was a pretty good idea, way of. Um, Getting the message across before that, and so that we don't get a raft of upset fishermen hammering on our doors. Um, what else? That's oh, Dan and I on last week went to um, Natu Hariri um, for a. Uh, well, we thought we were going with Joanne and, and the roading uh, team. Well, Joanne uh, had, start at the beginning. You will remember the um, Runanga asked for a reduced speed limit through the village, and Dan and Neville went to Wellington to back up that and fought for it because they wanted it down to 40 and NZTA will normally not give you a 40. And this meeting was supposed to be um, uh, putting a map on the table and showing them where, what we'd achieved so far. At well, about two hours notice, um, Dan was told it was a full-blown hooey with a pofery, which we were not quite culturally <laughs> prepared for, but never mind. And poor old Tania tried her very best to um, point out that we were here to discuss the 40 um, the 40k speed limit, but we got to discuss just about everything since Te Rao Praha came down, and the state of the cam, and, and how, how it took seven years to get a building permit from my house, and so it was an, an interesting morning, but um, good hospitality and a, a good morning tea. Um, and they, they have asked for the, um, the 40k thing to be extended right from Wood End Road to basically to Line Road, which Joanne um, looked kind of startled about and has gone away to, to think. But we pointed out to them that their two major problems are the rat run factor, which we do not control. We can try mitigating it, but we can't actually control it. And their other big problem is um, enforcement, which is everyone totally ignores the, their 40 sign they've got or their 50 sign they've got already. And again, it's not our problem. So they're, they're complaining to the wrong people. We, we can't fix that problem for them. But anyway, it was a, it was a robust discussion. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I've attended many meetings that people have been at, plus the, uh, uh, you know, particularly um, Sandra and Al. Um, but uh, we, uh, Passchendaele uh, ceremony last week was well attended, and it was, uh, it was actually probably one of the best services I've been to. The, uh, the speeches were of top-notch calibre. Not sure whether we should postpone Anzac Day and give everybody as much time to prepare their speeches again because it was a really, <laughs> for an hour ceremony, they were it was really outstanding and I just you know I thought it was well worth being at. So um, it, it, it representing Passchendaele, um, the uh, the working committee that I'm on with Passchendaele, um, and uh, of course the mayor gave a very good speech that was uh, it was well worth uh, well worth listening to. So um, it was worth being there, and it was great. Uh, Greater Christchurch partnership. Uh, there will be some consultations coming up, uh, which uh, times will be uh, posted. But I encourage you to go and have a look at what the future uh, that people are talking about um, for the whole of uh, Greater Christchurch and the plans that will come out. So um, we'll circulate those those dates when they do come out. I've got 23rd, 24th and 25th of, um, of November here, but I'm not just not quite sure who's involved in those particular ones. So I've better not give you those dates until such time as we know exactly what they are, but it's, it's a consultation that'll be worth going to. So uh, for what it's worth, uh, I think that you should take notice of those. And just further to your um, comment about the speeches, I thought um, Emma Glickwell spoke brilliantly, spoke really, really well from the heart and so well. Um, and I thought I'd put it on my 
on my own calendar, but I say I omitted it. Um, the chairs and the deputy chairs have a meeting with the mayor um, every two or three months. And at that last one, one of the uh, subjects that came up was a karakia at the beginning of our meetings. And it'd be interesting to hear what other people's thoughts are about that. I personally aren't keen on it if it's, we've got to do it. Um, I think it's disrespectful if we do it, um, feelings though we've got to, but that's just my own personal thought. thoughts. Let me know sometimes, it's not urgent at the moment. Uh, yes. Both me and Dan and myself met with Araha the, uh, just last week, I think it was, and uh, she was extremely excited to think that, uh, that the council was even thinking of that and that we had uh, actually gone to, to them to see if there was something that uh, we should, shouldn't be doing or what, and indeed what it is. So uh, from, from that end, um, she is certainly pleased to be able to help us out with what it is that we, uh, we need to do. So Jackie and I are going up to um, Healthy Day at the Par on the last Friday this month. So we'll have a chat to Araha and maybe, I mean, my opinion is only one person's opinion. Um, we need the go-to from everybody. Just let me know sometimes. As I said, it's not urgent. Any, sorry. <laughs> are there any media items that you'd be keen on? I think we need Dan to tell the world how we've given two of our local groups some money. Yeah, the, the, boat. the boat, the new, yeah, our first, the um, um, yes. <clears throat> yeah, and maybe, mind you, that's not going to happen overnight, Dan. Um, sorting out the, the two letters from Kaipo District Society, Historical Society, that it'd be nice to acknowledge that we've received those and that we're going to act on those, please. That'd be good. Any other, anything else that people want put out there for the world to see? Madam Chair, just in relation to those two letters we had from Historical Society, um, a few months back we put out a note in the media uh, requesting uh, suggestions for road names. Has anything come back from no. that you're No. Well, I haven't. Have you? I, I will have to check with Scott now. Yes. Okay. I will. Just yeah. to, with the um, has been, we should acknowledge Yes, that, yes. yes. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, item number 15. I'd like to move that the public be excluded from the 